Welcome back guys to a new Boombush video. We have finally transitioned from 5 end rooms to 6 end rooms. So this is our 5 end room base there. And this is the 6 end room base that we have done so far. Now we haven't managed to unlock any other nodes afterwards. So we'll see if uh, 6 end rooms by itself is going to be good. But I am saving up currently. I need 10 more keys to be able to unlock the shock bombs right there. And that's going to help us quite a bit there. Then we'll of course uh, move down and grab both of these branches eventually in time and then try and make our way up towards those bombardiers there. So let's go ahead grab into it. Now the reason I want to get the shock bombs is uh, is for when we go up against clustered bases whether that's five end rooms or six end rooms shock bombs are definitely going to be a better thing to have rather than a couple of more flame chores on our base there. For, so I'm trying to go more uh, offensive with the bombs so let's see how today goes and hopefully we're gonna get some good attacks here because we have fallen down to rank 17 here so here it is guys some clustered bases let's see he's got max rockets he doesn't have a doom cannon or anything does he no he does not i don't see any blasters so he must be doing something some sort of some other attack strategy here so let's drop these guys down and now let's drop down the rocket troopers behind them and we'll drop down kavan right behind them and we'll just keep going over here. I probably could have brought uh, the captain here since there is no prototype weapons, but let's just keep going over here. It looks like it's gonna, it should be a pretty straightforward attack here. We'll just activate our first, second wind right here, bring some more troops to the front line. Now he does have the uh, flame towers there, so our critters are gonna pretty much die instantly. So we should try and use our GB for second wind instead. Trying to bring those heavy choppers, uh, not heavy choppers, but the heavies back. So I think we're doing good. Let's put some critters on that side over there since there's only a machine gun over there. And we're starting to get some single shot buildings over there. Okay, Kavan is down. So I want to I want to regroup actually. They're spreading out a bit too much here. Let's try and keep the rock choppers behind the heavy choppers here. And I think we should be able to get a decent time here. He's on three. He's on two. Okay, maybe he's doing some sort of se secret attack, actually, with a private bullet right there. So that's no matter. Let's just collect our chest. And next up, we'll grab those, uh, the shock bombs here. So a few more attacks here. We can pretty much flare to the last ones right there. And yeah, I think that regroup might have cost me a couple of seconds there. But at least we managed to clear the... Uh, base right here so that's fine two minutes 30 yeah not definitely not going to be good right there he was at rank 18 so i should lose only nine stars here i believe two minutes 37 only second sec seven second loss there i would have thought he got a better time there let's just take a look at what he just did right there did he use seekers or anything special there nope just rocket choppers okay so only rocket choppers here yeah with the shocks okay and the critters right there Flaring into the corner. Blaster, not really going to stop him right there. Some more critters. Wow, okay. So, this is why we're going to need to get the flame tour soon enough. But right now, I want to go more um, offensive and grab the shock so I can at least guarantee that I'm able to clear most of these bases I face. So, let's go ahead over here. And that's going to be super nice. Let's upgrade that. We've got 3.4 million upgrade tokens there that we don't know what to do with. Uh, we have nothing to spend around right there so let's hop right into it now okay so now if we go up against cluster bases we should be in with a good chance here and we'll also switch over to the captain and his bombing ability right here so let's see he's got a doom kind of the center i've got to, i'll stick with the same attack strategy here with kavan here seems to be working out decently for us in in terms of being able to clear the uh, bases so let's just do a shock here actually now we can do shocks so we'll drop Kavan on, we'll drop him on this side here. Critters on the boom cannon over there. And nice. Okay, so now we should be able to survive with only using two heavy choppers. No need to bring three, um, at least not today or tomorrow. So let's keep going over here. We can throw down critters on the doom cannon because it is not protected by splash damage building. So that's pretty nice. That one rock chopper, I don't know how he got targeted over to that flame tower there. Let's get ready over here. Put down critters on that side. I can already see, uh, yeah, that, that rock chopper is going to die. 
No, we shocked it just in time. Okay, so that was a nice little save there with the shocks. Let's get ready for some more uh, shock action here on that boom cannon. I think we might have to do a shock. Okay, we're working our way up there. We should really be starting to flare, isn't it? Yeah, we should. Let's take out the boom cannon here first, I'd say. And then we can target the last ones there. And let's flare here. Shock that cannon. And last flare here. He's on our last one too. Let's get right out of critters for a tiny bit of damage there. And two minutes. Yeah, still two minutes uh, 30 thereabouts there, guys. So we definitely got to, got to improve the attack there. And get used to working with shock bombs again. So what was the time there? Okay, so we have beat him there. Okay, so that's nice. But it was a terrible attack either way uh, in terms of time. Let's take a, look, take a look at what he was doing. Three heavy choppers, rest rocket choppers with the captain right there. And let's see what he was able to do. Now the issue here is I think he didn't split drop. So he had to go through all the engines one at a time there. So you can see right there that engine probably cost, cost him those vital seconds. And got him to loss for sure. Okay, we won't complain about that. We'll take each uh, win that we can grab because we need to get up to rank 19 soon. Sooner rather than later here. So let's hop right into it. Do one more attack over here. Fingers crossed. Okay, rank 17. Okay, he does have max rockets. He's got a doom cannon there too. Three shock launchers. Okay, so I think let's drop down... One right there, we'll drop down three here. Let's get started with some critters over here. And we're gonna have to, we, we need some of these guys to go over to the uh, left hand side. So I want those guys to go over to the right hand side, these guys to go over to the left hand side, hopefully. Okay, and okay, I think that's good. Put some critters up there. No, no, only one rock chopper is going up there, unfortunately. That's, that should be okay, I think. Um, one rock chopper will still be enough to take out that area. Let's do a shock on those critters and put down some more, some more critters on that side. I might activate Kavan's second wind here in a second. There is tons of uh, heavies on this side though. Okay. We're converging, we're converging, that's fine. Looking good right there. Get ready with the shock. Do I need to shock anything? Uh, no, not right now I think. We're looking okay. That one rock chopper really is taking forever to take out that um, engine because it is, of course, only one right there. We lost one rock chopper to that cannon over there. That's fine. Those are maxed um, zookas there, so they should definitely help us. Let's put critters on that over there. And we should be starting to get ready to flare here, guys. Once this engine on the right-hand side goes down, I will start flaring these last two engines here. So let's go over here. And no, we just about missed that, missed that engine there. Go over there. And still, guys, oh no, this is time, this time is not very good, it is, is it, guys? So 2 minutes 21, I felt like we were getting better times when we were, uh, when we were 5 engine player attacking 6 engine players. So 2 minutes 21, 2 minutes 25, okay, so we didn't lose by that much. So this 2 minutes 30 seems to be the time that most people are getting in six engines but we got to work on our, our time try and get it up so he did sort of a three-way split drop here okay did it work out for him did he lose this cannon uh, not the cannon sorry the rocket chopper there no he looked pretty fine and the bombing ability right there so our, our defenses are pretty spread out so you don't really get too much value out of uh, captain rudy's bombing ability right here guys so that's fine and uh, let's take a look so we need we need to get those fl uh, flame chores that will stop a lot of the uh, critters distracting our cannons and then hopefully help in terms of taking out the heavies too. Uh, building damage, that's going to be super nice. But I think I want to get to, we'll, we'll get the f uh, flame chores there and then we'll go over here and get the shock mines to slow down the troops rather than going up here. We'll get that afterwards. Uh, barrage going to be nice to take down the health of the engines of course. So a lot of nice stuff here now in six engines. Looking forward to that for sure. You know what? Let's just do one more attack here, guys. Our next engine, our next chest is in four hours there, so we will get uh, flame tours later on this evening. 
so definitely looking forward to that let me know how you guys are getting along as well if you, any of you guys are in diamond rank already that's pretty amazing um i seem to be stuck in rank 17 for quite a while now longer than i would like let's take a look at this another clustered base guys so this is why we picked the shock bombs instead of unlocking the flame tours here okay so let's drop them down here okay and we should be good to go there isn't any single top buildings at the very uh, first layer of defenses here okay so let's see how hard these bases are to take out here let's do a shock right there those trifecta of cannons we'll just do critters over there it looks like a nice spot and we might do our first um second win right now actually okay so that's good we'll do a shock over here trifecta over there loads of cannons and um uh, boom cannons right there we'll do a critters on that machine gun there looks pretty good yep we might just do another second wind here, beef up the front line, and I'm liking how this attack is going, guys. It's going pretty good. We've got heavy coverage on all sides here. Rocket chopper is moving pretty nicely here. I'm scared about these guys, these rocket choppers here. They might get targeted to the side, but I've got my shocks right here to slow them down here. Critters over there. Now just drop down critters there. And I think what we can do is let's aggressively start flaring here. These last couple of buildings should not be taking our time here. Let's go to the end rooms there. And last end room, and I'm not sure what to do, but let's just put down critters uh, as a bit more damage. And that's probably the quickest time we got in six end rooms there. Um, so I'm not sure what his stats were if he had the defensive building damage yet, but closer bases definitely seem to be a little bit easier to take out there. So he's going to get a sub 2 minutes 20 time, I believe. He's got two more end rooms there. And he's got the flare to the last one there. So this was definitely a decent defense right here for us. So I'm really happy about that. And hopefully we will get on a win streak and get into the next rank here. Okay, so 2 minutes 11 seconds. Wow. So we'll grab the win over here. How many stars is that going to be? 11, hopefully no only nine okay that's fine so i think that might get us back into rank 18 no it won't but that's fine guys so that's gonna be it for me today i'm liking six end rooms here first couple of attacks are decent there so that's gonna be it for me today guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow